Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Alex here. And uh, before we start this lovely video, this lovely exercise video, please press the like button. Let's get this video very quickly to 100 likes. That will help the algorithms work themselves out. And uh, today's video is very special because I don't think I ever made a kind of exercise video and many of you are asking me about it. Alex, how do you keep your body in shape? Alex, how do you how do you do certain exercises? How you have a good body development? Uh, and uh, right now, right now is morning. Right now, I'm currently having a workout. I want to show you how uh, I maintain my body. And to be honest, the most important things besides the exercise that I'm doing right here is sleep and food. Sleep and food. Let me tell you that again. Sleep and food. Sleep is the most important thing ever because while you sleep, you recharge. As a cabin crew, many times I have some issues with sleep because of the jet lag, because of traveling to different continents, to different countries. And it's not easy to be in shape at all the times. It's not easy to have your sleep at all times, but as in anything else, you must give it a try. I try to get as much sleep as possible. I try to nap as much as possible. And uh, you know, if I can't, I'll take a walk, I'll read the book, I'll do some exercise, and then I'll try to sleep again. I'll try to get my beauty sleep. Now, now the second most important thing is obviously food. Uh, food will get you there. Food will get you in shape. Food will is cutting calories and getting those abs and everything. And right now, to be honest, I've been quite a big fan of pizza as of late, but uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to get back to shape and uh, you know, it's working out pretty well. This is the last part I want to get, exercises. I have this beautiful dumbbells here, uh, these two babies, and uh, to be honest, you can find them at Amazon. Uh, they go for really cheap nowadays and you know, it's, it's not a big deal. There are just two dumbbells, I think, each one can carry 12 kilograms, which is not a lot by any means, but it's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. And let me tell you something, even with low weights, you can train. It doesn't matter the weight, it matters the movement and the way you do it. It has to be correct at all times, the correct form, correct movement, correct exercise. That's the most important. If uh, we do biceps just like this, that, that will not get me very far, you know what I mean? But if you stand with the back, back straight, dumbbells at the side of your body, and then lift and slowly release, and then lift and slow release, lift and slow release, lift and slow release. This is called... Um, this is called staying on the negative. When you lift and you slowly release, this is the negative part. And this is how the muscle actually grows. Because you see, muscles don't often grow when you lift it. That's, a, that's an eccentric kind of movement. And it's all right, but it will not get you far enough. So what I like to do is to slow things down, to put pain inside, to put pain inside the muscle. When you have pain inside the muscle, that's when your muscles actually grow. That's how you burn your fat. That's how you increase your metabolism. Correct form of exercise. Correct form and proper training. You see? Slowly and painfully. This is what I really like. You know, sometimes pain, pain is one of the beauties of life. Failure is one of the beauties of life because by failing, this is how you improve. This is how you know how to get things done the correct way. This is what's all about, you know? Failing is awesome. Same as with a cabin crew interview, for example, with an interview for a job, any job. You go a couple of times to those interviews, you fail, but then you learn a lesson. And the lesson you learn is so valuable. 
it has so much value, you have no idea. Because you've been there, you saw that, you know how to react to it next time. So failure in life is really important. And all of you that are afraid of failing, let me just correct this a bit. All of you that are afraid of failing, you know, guys, you don't know what you're missing. Fail. Failing is good because you pick it up again and you do it again. And that's proper motivation. Correct form each time. A bit faster while pulling them and slower when release. Very, very important. And um, for those of you that are watching and you need fitness tips and everything, and you want to get in shape fast, right? Everybody nowadays wants to get in shape fast. Let me tell you a secret, guys. There is no fast way to success. There is no really proven fast way of uh, getting a nice physique. It takes time. Like everything else in life, it takes time and effort. You need time for everything. You need time to build skills. Uh, you need time to have a relationship, a proper relationship. You need time to develop a good body. You need time and failure and pain. And then you rise up again and then you do it again. Very important. Hey, who knew this channel will be a philosophy channel? <laughs> but it's a good way for me to express my feelings, to express what I have to say. Here we are again, slowly coming back. Rise up and slowly come back. That's it. This is how you properly do bicep exercises, guys. This is how you properly do bicep exercises. Uh, let me know in the comments below if the microphone settings are well. I hope you can hear me clearly and everything. I hope you can hear me loud enough as well. So just let me know. I'm not really sure how the settings are. First time I went to gym, I was 18 and a half years old. And um, to be honest, I started to pick up proper weights at around 19 and a half. So a, a year later, I really got serious into it. And by the time I was 20, I already had this kind of physique that I have right now. So I would say quite developed. And uh, also the thing about me is, as a child, I always used to be in sports. Since uh, I was 10 years old, I was into track and field athletics. I was doing running, a high jump, uh, a triple jump, long jump in the sand, you know, with the uh, legs in the air and everything. It was quite fun. It was a fun time in my life, you know. I went to national competitions. I, I was first in my county. I was second or third in my country at the point. So I was really, really good in athletics. And I think that helped me and that helps every single person as a child to um, uh, develop a good physique. What I always say, and you can find this description on my Instagram page, men sane in corpore san. That means healthy mind and a healthy body. It's very important to take care of all aspects of your life. And that's what I'm trying to do at all times. If I see I'm gaining weight, like I did now during the quarantine, I gained a bit of weight, I didn't exercise that much. Now I'm starting to pick it up again. I'm starting to properly be active again. And uh, this is how life is, you know, ups and downs. When it's a down, you must always look up and better times will come. But anyway, if any of you guys are parents already, please teach your children to be in sports. It's so important for their development, not only for the body, but for the mind as well. And also it will teach them discipline. Discipline that some of the children that are raising up nowadays, they don't really have discipline. And their parents should care more about this aspect in life. Anyway, wanted to keep this video short. This is not a training video. This is more like a, hey guys, look how I think kind of video. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you agree with many of the things I said uh, right now. And please, let's get this video to 100 likes really quick. It will really help this channel grow. You can also follow me on my Instagram page if you're not following me yet. Guys, this is Alex. It has been a pleasure. Until next time, see ya.